In this episode, we'll learn a different way of limiting the movement instead of using objects and collisions. Let's start by creating a script and call it horizontal movement. Let's delete the start function. We won't need this for this example. Let's create a few basic variables. We'll create a variable for our input, another for our speed, minimum of the x and y values. For the basic movement, we will get the horizontal input from the player and then move the player using transform.translate. We will use the mathf.clamp function. The basic idea is to give the function input, minimum and maximum and if the input is higher than the maximum it returns the maximum, same for the minimum. Let's create a new variable to use as an output for our clamp function and then change the player position. That way the player's position can't be higher or lower than the min and max values. Now all that's left is attach the script to the object and put the min and max values. For me, minus 1.6 and 1.6 worked best, but it's basically trial and error. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Please make sure to follow for more videos like this and enable notifications to know when I upload a new one. See you soon. Bye!